Hi Virgos and welcome to your January 2024 read. Okay, this read, Happy New Year. What? Happy New Year. All right. This read is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Okay, and I'm using the Past Life Oracle deck as I do in the monthlies because we know the thread of what we have experienced in our past life is something that we are needing to clear and or sever in this life. What do we got? Farm. Wow. Land. Animals. Loving animals without question. Also, I love this depiction of the two horses. You could have two animals, right? Um, not only loving animals, but also knowing the the um, implication of animal totems. Some of you have horses as your animal totem, which lends itself to strength, courage, freedom, beauty, without question. Some of you have two animals, two dogs, what have you. Um, I hear born free. So, right? I mean, that's true, isn't it? We are born free. To Rome, right? Yeah, that's beautiful. Some of you love not only having a lot of land, um, I also feel some of you are definitely, you definitely have a lot of land. Maybe you, if you don't, you always wanted a lot of land to live in a, like a place like Montana, Utah, you know, Idaho, off the grid, something about also being off the grid and roaming free. Now, this could mean in the literal sense or the figurative sense. All right, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and or Venus. Wow, look at this. Look at this, the strength. The strength of one's body, which is healthy, gives us a lot of, there's strength everywhere here, gives us peace of mind. I feel like, I also really do, I feel like you have gotten Virgos to the point where you, you're you eating healthy, you're looking good, right? You're, you're strong-willed. The green is crazy here. The growth, right? You know how some people, and I'm going to say, because I think it's absolutely adorable. Some people emulate their animals. We all do, whether we know it or not, right? That energy of our animals are giving us the strength of peace, contentment, the loyalty. This is like one big heart. How much love we have for ourselves and for our animals. You know, this is like a superhero. Some of you are, you know, you love superheroes. Who doesn't? I also like the fact that this guy in this, I love these cards. This guy has really long hair. And that is also um, someone who, it's not just about youth. It's also about eating healthy and nourishing your body and your hair grows really quickly um, and also very spiritual, in fact, the longer the hair. It's like the Native Americans. Knowing what to put in, knowing what you put into your body is healthy. This is all green. This is all about you, Virgos. That's what you 
that's what you are. You're Mother Earth. You love, you're connecting and or reconnecting to into a place of where you know your strength lies, which is all of Mother Earth, eating healthy, being healthy, working out. Wow, I love this. This is such a nice, like, I feel refreshed. It's like you're ready for the new year. Oh my God, look at this. Wow, are you kidding me right now? This is commitment, living with someone, having dogs, here are doggies, right? Just being really happy. Really happy, content, your children, your family ties, your roots. Maybe you live on this, maybe you live or you're, you're interested in um, getting a piece of land or you live on a big farm, right? You're off the grid. There's no doubt that some of you Virgos have taken your lives off the grid, which really, and your, you know, farming is from a past life, it's already a Virgo trait to, you know, um, to grow your own crops, you know, your tomatoes, your not only being maybe very, you have a green thumb, it could be, but it, it's also just really loving your garden, having a garden, but you have like tomatoes and, you know, whatever else you're growing, rosemary, you're, it's just amazing. It's beautiful. Being really content and happy with your life. I love this. And you're emulating this energy out, right? For all to see. How beautiful. So you could be, you know, guard, gardening. You have a green thumb. Some of you could have just moved in, got engaged, moved in together, making that vow, that commitment. Wow. Oh, my God. Virgo, what is up here? Soul to soul, without question. This is a soul connect. The strength of longevity, I heard. This is a 10. It's like finally being in a place of, it's like heaven sent. Gosh, Virgo, this is beautiful. Wow, this is heaven sent. Finally, finally getting to a place of a peaceful, beautiful, content life and living it with not only your animals, you, you know, we have the two swans. Some of you definitely, you know, maybe you call your, your person, you know, they're, they're your swan. I've heard that before. I think it's adorable and it's elegant. Someone just got engaged and got married, for sure, to your person. And you're, you're buying land and getting off the grid. Wow. Okay, let's get another layer. <laughs> I don't even really want to, Virgo, but I'm going to because it's not fair. Let's get another layer of cards from the Vice Versa deck for Leos. Oh, I said Leo. Some of you are with Leos. Sorry, Virgos. So the decision that you made was to get hitched, to move in together, right? I think it was just, it was time. This really shows up as perfect timing. Divine timing, if you will, right? Some of you, I'm talking to Virgo moons. Okay. It's beautiful. Two, two. Um, and one, one. So some of you are saying 11, 11. 
This could, this is obviously a soul connect. Yes, twin flame. After, right, a heartbreak. Okay, I'm going to say it. I feel someone, I feel in a committed relationship, a live-in situation, that a dog has crossed over and you may be buying another dog, getting another dog, or, you know, um, from the, getting a dog from the shelter or something. I feel an animal has crossed over and the decision to purchase or, or save another, save an animal would even be the best way, of course. But in any event, I feel that that's what hap has happened. And the, you know, a, the dog lived a long life, right? 10 years, perhaps. Let's look. The Three of Swords, please. Oh, yeah, this is, this is, this is, we believe that we stick together as a, a team under whatever circumstances, like no matter what, that's what this feels like, no matter what, these are, there's two kids here, see? This is the bond and commitment of a union, but I feel that the Three of Swords lends itself to, you know, the taking taking care of, you know, a, a not a child. It's a it's an animal, without question. Let's get one more on that one. Yeah, it's saying goodbye to one animal. And, purchase, and maybe, just, like I said, getting another animal. So some of you have experienced an animal's crossing over, but no doubt it, not every Virgo has an animal who has crossed over. So if there's been... Okay, for some of you, perhaps the engagement, the offer of engagement and or live-in was declined. I'm just saying. There could have been a decline in an off in a commitment. Someone said no. I have a hard time believing that. I really do. I don't feel that that's um or it was a third party, right? because we go from two of swords to three. So I feel if there was any kind of third party situation, someone said, I have to, I have to get out of that so that I can, um, I'm staying in my marriage. Someone made the decision also to stay in their commitment. It's not necessarily a marriage, but it is a vow to stay in a committed relationship, right? All right, the Two of Cups. Wow. Whoa, temptation. That's what happened. So for some of you, you're chained and bound to a committed relationship that you can't get out of. And you there could have been, a, they could, could have been an interest of a third party. It doesn't necessarily mean. I feel that this will always be the case. Let's just be honest. I don't care if you're dating one week or a year or 10 years. This is part of the earth plane's um, manipulation, if you will, whereby temptation in love relationships will always be part of the earth plane. It just is. Because we are, we have an ego that if we allow it to infiltrate our love of our love life, it's going to wreak havoc. So I think a third party, if you, if there was a third party, it's over. There it is. It's over. And 
someone's ego just got put into check, meaning they they had to they had to drop the temptation. It could have been if it was an ongoing third party, then that's one thing, or an attraction. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean someone literally went out. Some of them, some of you Virgos have gone out to check out what's out there while you're already in a relationship. You know, you're already living with someone, but you know, someone catches your eye and it's like, well, why not? Let me look into it. You know, that kind of thing. Look at that. And Ten of Cups. Someone knows that if they, they almost lost it. I'm telling you right now. Or someone did lose out on a marriage. Ten of Cups reversed. I think maybe if something happened and someone found out about a third party, it was like, that was, that was like, you make a, you may, you better make a choice who you're going to, who's going to stay and who's going to go. Maybe someone gave you that ultimatum. And someone did have to go look, right? Wow. We should have stayed with the first three cards, right? A Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Shocking, Virgo. Shocking. You've been dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for up to at least nine, ten years that I've been reading for you. Someone just had to go. The decision's been made. And it could have ruined a very significant relationship of great happiness. Some of you, it's an animal crossing over, but now that I look at these, because the animal clearly could have been a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or a cap. I don't feel that though. I just have to, I mean, I am telling you the truth. I don't feel it. I feel a third party infiltration came out right away. And it's not like I didn't want to see it because we did talk, we did say there was a third party here. But when we go into these, the ultimate soul connection, the, the keeping a third party, there was way too much to lose. And so much more to gain if someone stayed in their connection, that original connection. You know, we make vows for reasons to people. You know, someone could have definitely been, all right, we're going to say it, right? Virgos are typically known for their family unit. They are, they're great family people. They are, um, especially when you build, you build a Ten of Cups moment with someone and you include your animals and your home and that's your family. You don't stray, but someone strayed just because, and I'm going to say it, just because someone looked good, smelled good, you know, may have been wearing a red cami satin cami you know and tempted you there was temptation here for sure the devil's upright are you kidding so there this temptation caused your ego right to take note you fell for it but only for oh you know for however long i'm not gonna I'm not going to deny that I feel some Virgos that I've been reading had fallen for a Cancer Pisces Scorpio for a while. And maybe for however long this, this 
lasted, right? Someone knew it wasn't going to last forever because the only true type of vow that, that lasts forever is one that does not in, include or even, even attempt the ego's manipulation of temptation. It's just not. It's just not, it's not happening. Let me get one, one more card for each layer here. Virgos. Yeah. This is something that I feel, and I'm going to say it, I feel that your childhood and the way that you were taught love has been handed down from generation to generation. And some of you really felt like you were born free, so why not, you know, why should you be bound by, let's say, a commitment of sort? Do you understand that? Some of you saw your mom and dad go through a very similar situation here. Mom and or dad had, you had witnessed a temptation, if you will. And, you know, that ended up the same way that this has ended up. This is a childhood. This is from your childhood, you know. And these are lessons. And eight and two is 10. So there's another 10. So you have one, two, one, two, three, four aces, which is 11, 11. You're with your, you're with your person. And, you know, whether this is something that the lineage of your family ties was, you know, an issue of like mother, like daughter, like father, like son. That's all I'm going to say because it, it happens, right? Someone may have been, some, this third party may have, have been um, someone from your work, your workplace, or after this was, all said and done and the ties have been cut from a third party, then we focus on working and trying to forget about it, right? And there you have it, the death reversed because it's a new day, right? After it's a Scorpio or Cancer Pisces on the back end, but death and rebirth of, of what we say goodbye to in order to solidify and keep the things, the, the people and the things in our lives that matter. I mean, it's a huge lesson. I'm not gonna, we're not gonna sugarcoat it. Let me get one more for the death reverse, which is Cancer Pisces. Oh, it's a Scorpio reversed. Anyway, there you go. I feel, I'm going to say it, this guy doesn't mess around. Virgo, if you're connected to a, this is a connection of marriage or live-in with a um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone said, it's, you make a decision now or else I'm leaving. And it's a divorce. I feel someone literally was given an ultimatum. And some of you moved away from your homeland and you're off the grid because of it, right? Separation, that's what it is. 
separation by means of, I mean, someone's missing you, you're missing them, but, right? True love. Who, Virgo, is your true love? <laughs> I'm just going to say it. Are you with someone because you have history together, you've been together for so long, it's just comfortable. You know what I mean? Keep an open mind. I feel that maybe Virgo, some of you Virgos, literally, okay, so this could go many ways. Some of you Virgos are with your true love and some the ultimatum of maybe you had a legal separation or you have been separated because of a third party infiltration that maybe it's not this person is you know tried and true like animals are loyal but you know, it's not like you didn't, you know, it's not like you can't. I feel that if you were attracted to someone else and or with someone else, you might have thought that person was your true love or you're with your true love and then you got kind of like side <laughs> swiped, so to speak. I don't know. Virgo, you've been going through this for so long. Someone made you feel like a kid again, or this was a younger Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Like, you know, doing things together that you did as a kid. Right? I'm going to get another one. I'm just like, what is going on? Healing family issues. Okay, thank you. So that solidifies it. It does. Someone who has been attracted and or involved in a third party situation. It was, it was the same thing that was of, of an, the issue of, you know, being attracted to someone else or feeling good because you could attract maybe someone else after being in a long-term relationship. It is, things become complacent things become stagnant. And if someone did see you either at work or you met them where, however you met them, it, they made you feel like a kid again. And now you're, I feel it was either you or the person you were with who said, there has to be a split here. You made the decision to separate from the third party to stay with the true and solid love that you have history with, or you feel like, or a spouse, significant other said, I'm gonna separate and or po possibly divorce if this continues. I don't even know what to say because Virgo, you've been dealing with this for a long time. And I feel this does definitely come into the same thread of like father, like son, right? This could be, you know, a father, son, or a mother, daughter issue of, right? You know, I have something in my eye. So I do feel that, you know, we are born free and I don't feel that at least for now, polyamorous relationships, you know, it has been going on since the beginning of time. Everyone, the devil upright is the temptation, right? Someone could have literally moved out from their hometown and moved off the grid somewhere, right? With their animals, their family, just so that they could, you know, so that they could commit and keep the commitment that that is solid 
You know what I mean? Sorry. You know what I'm saying? But definitely healing family issues. Your love life definitely involves this as you were taught as a child. What we are taught as children definitely comes into play in adulthood without question. And the thread of this farm, meaning, you know, born free. I, that's all I can think of is this was someone who thought they could maybe, you know, that it wasn't going to affect them. But it always does. And someone always gets hurt. The Ten of Swords is painful truth. All right, Virgos. I send you so much love and light. Have a great month, and I'll see you soon. Please comment below and let me know. Take care.